Red dot sights have become quite common in the handgun hunting world. Let's join Wade at the range and see what his process is when getting a new red dot. Right now I want to talk about, uh, you know, setting up and using a red dot. Um, you know, straight out of the package, most of them, it appears, are pretty easy to use for your average hunter out there. And, and that's who I'm mostly talking to, is the guy that's going to set this up for hunting. Um, you know, taking it down to the range, spending some time, obviously getting their first zero set up at a, at a close distance and then beginning to work backwards from there. It's interesting to me to talk to long-term handgun hunters that absolutely love the red dots uh, for a lot of their setups. I mean, they're convinced that, that it gives them the fastest target acquisition and the best ability to shoot it at long distances and short distances simply by, you know, raising and lowering the gun and dialing it in. They've got a lot of confidence in them, but I promise you, one of the biggest things they do is they've shot shot more and shot again to build that confidence level. So when it comes to choosing a red dot, green dot, or one of those types of setups, the biggest piece of advice that we're gonna have and the biggest piece of advice we're gonna give to you is you need to spend a lot of time practicing. So we're in the process of basically putting this Trigicon red dot on here. And you know, when you first get one mounted, we've got it on our 460 Smith & Wesson Performance Center Magnum handgun here. You'll take your first three shots, you know, 15 to 25 yards, like you recommended, and you want to get a group. And then when you get some kind of a group, you can be able to move, shoot it again, move and shoot it again. And that's also part of the practicing uh, scenarios that we talk about so much. It allows you to work on your trigger pull. It allows you to build confidence in what's going on and build confidence in the site and how to acquire and, and pick up the target, whether you're shooting at paper or a big old white tail buck.